Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Ellingson with Monster Energy Star Yamaha, and this is Eli Tomac's number one machine. Starting at the front of the bike, Eli Tomac prefers the full waffle pro taper grips and levers of choice are the ARC brake lever and ARC clutch lever with the perch setup. That's strictly off of just finger feel and what keeps his cockpit comfortable. We run a carbon cover over the master cylinder to help prevent any damage to the master cylinder that could lock up the brake in the middle of a race. Whether it hits where the master cylinder piston is, it could collapse the chamber and cause it to stick. This carbon cover just helps prevent that. G2 throttle tube for durability in case we lay it over, it doesn't smash the end and stick to the bar. Eli runs Pro Taper Handlebar, which is the SX Race version, in about a neutral position. Likes the sweep and height of them. On the right side, it's just a new version of the Yamaha Start Switch. Comes from the factory now with uh, raised edges that keep the rider from bumping the starter in the middle of a race or when the bike's running. And then on the left side, we have their control switch, which controls either map or start map. Stock standard is well it also acts as a kill switch and then we just add protected cover over so they don't bump it change any settings while they're riding also in the case of a crash it saves a switch that allows us to finish races new this year with the 23 we're running x-trig rocks which help with front end feel and help uh, with the harshness takes away the harshness in his hands and allows a little bit of flex in the front end and then complements the uh, kyb fork so our whole shot device that we run is a work connection whole shot device and for supercross we run it about 10 mil lower than uh, we usually do for outdoors but coming in with the grates will probably be about the same setting for outdoors as well plastic that we run is Sycra and their fork guards we don't have to run any extra straps to hold the fork guard to the fork when we have it set they uh, build us a pretty durable fork guard front wheel wise he's running a kite hub with a Excel front rim the kite spokes with uh, a Dunlop spec front tire that that, I mean, he's been on for years. Probably won't change for years to come just because he has such trust in that setup. Axle-wise, we run a steel stock standard axle, braking semi-floating front rotor. So for front wheel-wise, on the left side of the bike, just for added protection, we run a light speed carbon cover that also helps guide the front end in deep ruts and doesn't let the lug hang it up or cause any weird twitch in the front end when in a deep rut for outdoors. Going back to the front brake-wise, he runs Nissan's factory version of a billet caliper. For this year, we're running a core steel braided front brake line, which helps with his brake feel because he kind of likes a really uh, stiff front brake feeling. So radiator wise, we're running stock radiator with a brace on the inside to help keep the radiator in shape if we have any tip overs. We use a 1.8 cap for heat. We run a twin air louver guard that keeps the sand or rocks from packing up in the radiator louvers. Back to the radiator cap, we've run a pin inside the 1.8 cap just to keep it in case you get a rock that hits it or if his leg bumps the cap loose, we're not pushing any coolant out during the race. Intake wise, we run a twin air air filter and for Supercross, a little bit of a thinner air filter just because we're not dealing with the elements that we would deal with on outdoors. Twin air makes us a master flow kit for the new 23 that we've been using and have had nothing but good success with it. Just for a little extra precaution, we run a a bolt instead of the Zeus fastener in the part of the seat that sits over the gas cap. And that's just to keep, make sure that we don't have anything happen during a race. I mean, we haven't had any issues with the Zeus fastener. It's just a little extra precaution we take. Seat wise, uh, we run a decor cover. It's a stock seat foam, stock seat, seven ribbed cover. And for Eli, he likes fresher seats to be rotated in. We'll maybe go two races on a seat. That's just because he likes the extra holdup and he doesn't like to feel Feel it sagging out. So just in case in a wreck or something happens during a race and we knock our start button off, we run a backup start button down by engine cylinder that allows him to restart his machine just in case we break a button or something happens during the race. So we add a extra radiator hose around the bottom radiator hoses right and left side just because they're exposed and you could get a sharp rock or some sort of debris fly up and just puncture a hole in and it could take you out of the race. So we do that just to take an impact before it gets to the hose itself. We run 
on a light speed skid plate that covers the water pump side and the stator side of the motorcycle and adds extra protection from underneath on the cases. We use choice of carbon just because of weight. That's our main goal on a 450, try to save weight. Engine wise, which is built in uh, California by Kelma and the package that we've given Eli this year is we actually go for a pretty high powered package that he's the type of guy that the more you give him, the more he can handle. So as you can see with our starts this year, uh, we've got a pretty good power plant and he's really happy with it. Glues clutch in the engine and for Eli, it's all about clutch lever feel. So that's one thing we've had to work on this year is try to get a uh, nice feel at the lever, but still allow it to put power to the ground. Brake pedal wise, it's a new style pedal this year for the 23. It's a five mil wider tip and this year we put a tie tip on it for strength and for boot feel. We added sharper teeth so he could feel the pedal in the middle of a race and then we added a brake snake in case it gets caught on a tough block or in a rut it doesn't completely bend the pedal around. Engine hanger wise for the machine we run stock that comes on the new 23. Feel wise he was really comfortable and didn't really want to change much there. Foot pegs for Eli he runs Raptor foot peg with a tie bracket just because likes the feel on his boot and likes to have the grip when he's going through the whoop so he doesn't lose his footing. Have Raptor put a brace down the center that when he's riding on the balls of his feet he has a little bit more grip. On the swing arm pivot we run a Dell Ram plug that allows no mud to get packed up in there and on the right side for brake wise if it does get packed up it keeps it from locking up the pedal or not allowing the pedal to return. Brake wise on the new 23 we're running a full stock system stock master stock caliper. All we really do to him is we just put a light speed cover on it for extra protection and he's been really happy with the rear brake this year. KYB shock which tailored to the fork and it's uh, with a new bike this year we've had to come up with some couple new settings but coming into the last couple rounds we're in a really good spot and as you can see it hasn't taken him long to find stride on the new bike. Suspension wise he likes the bike to be balanced front to rear so that's been our main goal for this year on the new chassis and it's looking like we've got it accomplished. For the rear tire on uh, the number one machine he runs 120 and then hub is a kite hub with uh, stock spokes and Excel rim and then we run a stock rotor to complement the stock brake with a stock rear axle as well. So we run a rivet link. Eli runs a Vortex rear sprocket that's a 50 tooth. For the most part we really don't adjust that too much. He likes the feel of the power with that. Kind of back to the balance thing with Eli. We run the rear wheel a little bit further back to uh, just try to help with stability, help with whoop passes and cornering. Grip tape wise we run anchor tape grip. We only run it on the frame just because he likes to have that grip on his boots but still allow himself to easily get maneuver around on the bike back and forth so we don't run any grip tape on the number plate. On the left side of the engine we run a GUITR cover for extra protection in case a rock punctures it. We get in some sort of uh, collision. It's just a little bit stronger than the stock covers. Stock shifter, Eli runs it in uh, the one position up just for allowing him to get his boot under easy for quick shifting. Just to ensure the bike starts up every time, we run a Optima lithium battery. Super reliable and helps us keep the bike restarting every time we're on the track. Rear end wise, we run a uh, light speed carbon chain guide that is also trying to help us shave weight on the bike. Also for strength wise it holds up really good in the ruts and doesn't bend. With uh, having a new bike for 23 obviously it's a little bit of a question mark and unknown how it's going to shape up. Coming from the season we had last year with the 22 it was could, can we get it as good as the 22 if not better and I mean we showed up to A1 and won right away on it. It's like with any new bike it's a lot of work and uh, the guys here at the team Gilly, Rich, Brad, Jeremy, Kelma all put a lot of effort into trying to get this thing to our 22 season and I think now we're exceeding the expectations and are gonna be better for 23. Obviously Supercross this year has shown that it's a really good bike and then we'll uh, for outdoors it'll continue to show it's a good bike. <laughs>